Hey guys, in this video we take a look at a question that was asked by Pankaj. Now we have a mixture of one mole FeSO4 and one mole FeC2O4. These two substances do not react with each other and then we need to oxidize these substances and for that we are using KMnO4 and in the question we need to find out that if the medium is acidic then how much KMnO4 will be required to carry out the oxidation process. Let's take a look at the species in the reaction mixture. We have FeSO4 that will give us Fe2 plus and SO4 2 minus that, that is a sulfate ion and FeC2O4 will give us Fe2 plus and C2O4 2 minus. Now if you look carefully at the oxidation number of each of these species Fe2 plus can oxidize and go to Fe3 plus. So a change in oxidation state can occur here. In the sulfate ion, sulfur is already in the plus 6 oxidation state which is the maximum that it can have and so there is no oxidation going to happen here. We have another Fe2 plus ion so we have two moles of Fe2 plus both of which can get oxidized and then we have this oxalate ion C2O4 2 minus this can get oxidized to carbon dioxide. So overall in this mixture we will have two moles of Fe2 plus ions to oxidize and one mole of C2O4 2 minus. Now in the acidic medium KMnO4 which has Mn in the plus 7 oxidation state changes to Mn2 plus and in that process it takes up 5 electrons. So this is the reaction that we are going to use along with the other species Fe3 plus and C2O4 2 minus. So let's first calculate how much KMnO4 is required for the oxidation of Fe2 plus. So we have Fe2 plus that will change into Fe3 plus and for that it will take an electron and if you remember we had two moles of these so we will need to write two here and then two Fe3 plus and we will get two electrons there. Now if you try to balance these two equations then you multiply this by 5 and the first reaction by 2 and that will generate 10 electrons for Mn7 plus and 10 electrons here and they can be cancelled out and we can write 2 Mn7 plus plus 10 Fe2 plus will give 2Mn2 plus plus 10Fe3 plus which means for 10 mole Fe2 plus I need 2 mole KMnO4 and so for 2 moles of Fe2 plus we will need 2 into 2 upon 10 mole KMnO4 that gives us 2 upon 5 mole. So for the oxidation of 2 moles Fe2 plus ions we need 2 upon 5 mole KMnO4. Now let's see how much of KMnO4 is needed for the oxidation of the oxalate ion. So for the oxalate ion the reaction is C2O4 to minus will change into carbon dioxide and give out 2 electrons and once again we can write Mn7 plus plus 5 electrons will change it to Mn2 plus. 
and once again all we need to do is balance this reaction and so we multiply this by 2 and multiply this by 5 and cancel out the electrons involved so there are 10 and 10 electrons that get cancelled out and we can get 5 c 2 o 4 2 minus plus 2 mn 7 plus will give 10 co 2 plus 2 mn 2 plus so from the reaction once again we can write that for 5 moles c 2 o 4 2 minus we need 2 mole KMnO4 and so for 1 mole C2O4 2 minus we will need 2 upon 5 mole KMnO4 now here is the final answer that for 2 moles Fe2 plus we need 2 upon 5 mole KMnO4 and for the oxidation of 1 mole C2O4 2 minus we need 2 upon 5 mole KMnO4 so the total amount of KMnO4 required will be equal to 2 upon 5 for Fe2 plus and 2 upon 5 for the oxalate ion and that gives us the answer as 4 upon 5 mole. So if you found this video useful, please let me know. And if there are any doubts left, please comment below the video and I will see how I can help you more. See you in the next video.